I'm Dan the Folly and welcome to this special animation on Google Earth to celebrate the second international conference on marine mammal protected areas. This was organised by the French government, the French National MPA Agency, in collaboration with NOAA's Office of National Marine Sanctuaries and major stakeholders in Martinique. And we pick up the story in Martinique at Fort de France where the conference was held. One of the challenges in creating these tours is to portray the ocean in its true three-dimensional sense. And as we look at the Caribbean and we see the contours under the surface, let's track to Hawaii, where the first Marine Mammal Protected Area Conference was held, to see how this has been achieved. One of the issues was actually showing the ocean in its three-dimensional splendour. And to do this, Google created a shimmering, shining sea surface, just like the one that you would see from the cliffs on a sunny summer's day. And it's through this that we can now fly. As we go to the surface and splush, we go through and see the three-dimensional underwater bathymetry. And when we have this, we can now use this as a canvas to show something about the lives of marine mammals. So between the Hawaiian Islands, we can dive towards the surface of the sea and join humpbacks. Humpbacks that have migrated from Alaska to Hawaii to come to breed. But if it's smaller marine mammals you're after, then let's just track across some of the Hawaiian islands and join spinners dolphins off the coast. And really let's perhaps just jazz it up a bit. This three-dimensional canvas that we now have on Google Earth also enables us to show places that perhaps should be protected in the future, such as the Costa Rica Dome, one of the 12 for 2012 sites from the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society, and nearby the small already protected by World Heritage Cocos Islands, where big-eyed Trevelli flee bottlenose dolphin. And flying north, following the routes of blues and humpbacks, let's trek up the coast, across the Gulf of California, so important for marine mammal species on migration and those that live there all year round. And just north of that, the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary, established in 1980, with these little animated pop-ups which show you what protection has done to greatly benefit the marine environment around these islands. Flying north, we trek across Monterey Bay. Here it's massive canyon, clearly visible in three dimensions, where harbour seals play with divers. And then onto the Farallones, which together with the other sites, now just seen, form the network of 15 national marine sanctuaries in the USA, protecting wildlife around the coast. But let's fly even further north, to the ends of the world where it's cold waters harbouring amazing species of marine mammals, such as the iconic beluga whale. And let Sylvia Earl take up the story. Gleaming starkly white. The frozen Arctic Ocean crowns the top of the world, above 66 degrees north latitude. In the Arctic, above the ice and below, wildlife prospers in what might seem to be an inhospitable environment. But it's exactly what is required for polar bears, ring seals, and the snowy white beluga whales, the highly vocal canaries of the sea.
crossing the top of the world, we come down the east side of Canada and America. The southeast shoals of the Grand Banks, another area attracting interest as a future protected area, clearly visible in green. And to the west of that, Stillwagon Bank, famous for its Atlantic population of humpback whales. And again, our multimedia pop-ups giving you a glimpse of life in these marine areas. Stillwagon has a whale watching industry which contributes some $126 million per year to the economy. And just south of this, we use the pop-ups again to give you a glimpse of some of the challenges that marine mammals face, such as right whales and pollution. The humpbacks migrate from further south to Stolwagen, and some may use Bermuda as a stop-off point, a staging point on their arduous migration from further south. They come partly from the Dominican Republic and the marine whale sanctuary there. Twinned with Stolwagen Bank some four years ago, providing a haven for them to feed and breed. And just like Stolwagen, the Dominican Republic sanctuary is critically important and provides a healthy basis for whale watching. So flying out from the Dominican Republic, we view the Caribbean with the Agoa Marine Sanctuary established just a year ago to provide further protection to whales in the Caribbean. Why the name Agoa? Well, in Merindian mythology, Agoa means goddess of the ocean. So from the giants of the sea to the goddess of the ocean, we complete our tour of Google Earth.